Heather, thanks. The All-Star Village in Arlington is shaping up to welcome fans for All-Star Week, and today we got a look inside Choctaw Stadium. Fox Sports' Alex Boyer took a look at what fans who visit will get to experience when it opens this weekend. What you're standing in or sitting in right now is our All-Star Clubhouse. This is a, uh, our home base for all our panel discussions. So you'll From see interacting with your favorite professional baseball player during 30-minute in-person career chats to taking a swing at being a baller yourself at the Home Run Derby virtual reality experience. This is a really fun game. The fans really love this. There's no shortage of stimulation at the All-Star Village in Arlington, including the eSports Stadium. Some 300 people have been working since last month to transform the 1 million square foot area, which includes the old Rangers ballpark, now known as Choctaw Stadium, into a baseball fan's candy land. We anticipate um, lots of families to spend multiple hours here uh, as they navigate the entire footprint. We'll see some of the local cuisines and their food trucks. The All-Star Village opens on Saturday. Outside on the North Lawn, fans will find the All-Star Stage where there will be live music. Nearby is Food Truck Row and a Ferris wheel. There's also a giant baseball in the water. Kinsler gave me the 2012 All-Star jersey. He had loaned that to us. But perhaps the biggest draw for diehard hard Rangers fans is the Rangers clubhouse experience where fans can explore the Rangers former clubhouse that many team legends used and we've been able to you know celebrate those players from Pudge Rodriguez with his jersey from the 1995 all-star game to Adrian Beltre who goes in the Hall of Fame next week there's also a ton of memorabilia including a collection of MLB trophies including the commissioner's trophy which is annually presented to the World Series champions to get the most out of your visit download the ballpark app like you're going to a Rangers game everything is on the home page and then navigate to the experience pass batter up but there is really something for everyone here. In Arlington, Alex Boyer, Fox 4 News. A Texas Ranger is going to get a start at this year's All-Star Game after all. Marcus Simeon will get the start at second base after the Astros' Jose Altuve stepped down to nurse a sore hand. This marks Simeon's third start in an All-Star Game, and it makes him the first Texas player with consecutive starts since Adrian Beltre and Josh Hamilton in 2011 and 2012. Altuve was hit by a pitch during the game last week and wants to rest. All-Star Week in North Texas concludes Tuesday night with the Midsummer Classic. You're not going to go. If you're not going to the game at Globe Life Field, you can stay home and watch it here on Fox 4. Our coverage starts at 4 o'clock Tuesday afternoon.